everybody, Cindy Otter here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Um, today my muse, it's so funny, I was looking uh, to put something on the edge of a, um, a strand of beads. And let me bring you in. These are little buttons, I guess you want to call them, that I made out of cardboard. And I want to show you how to do these today. They are so quick and easy and simple, it's not funny. Um, what we're going to start with is we're going to start with just a plain old cereal box. Oops, let me go back out. Um, just a plain old cereal box. In this case, I'm using Frosted Mini Wheats. Um, you can also use the edges. So I always keep the edges because I can, I can use these to make these little guys. And then you're going to need some stamp or some punches. The size and the style is totally up to you. This is about the smallest that I would go. And this is a, it doesn't say, I don't know, this is a little bunch. Um, very tiny. But I also have some bigger ones here. I have a heart. I've got a jar, mason jar, um, a tag, and then just a, a fancy square box. So you'll need some punches, your cereal box. You're going to need, <coughs> of course, a pair of scissors to cut your cereal box apart. You're going to need a punch. Um, this is a hole punch. I'm actually going to be using this little bitty hole here. So I'm going to be using that on those. And I'm going to be using some glossy accents and also some paint. Um, I've got a few here that I just I want to use up. Uh, these are Dina Wakeley's. This one is actually the lime green. <laughs> I just could not throw away that paint in there. Look at this. See all that paint in there? I can't throw that away. So yeah, I put some duct tape over it until I got to use it. So, um, And I got, got pink and yellow. So these are the paints I'm just going to try to use up a little bit. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the process. Um, basically, you're going to take layers of these punches. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out a whole bunch of these, which is going to be boring. Um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do that off camera. And then when I come back on, I'll show you what I've got. I'll show you how to put them together. And these are really cool handmade embellishments that you can use. You don't have to put the circle, the punches in them. You could just use it as a square. You don't have to put the holes in them. I do because of the way I like to use them. So uh, let's get going on this. This is my muse for this month. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So I took my my punches and I punched out a whole bunch of the different shapes. Um, the other thing I forgot to tell you you're going to need is tacky glue. Now what I'm going to do, um, normally I do either three or four layers depending on how thick I want the piece to be. So this is a nice thickness. It's, it's sturdy. So these I'm going to do three at a time. Um, these, I think I usually do four on these just to make them strong enough. So let me see. Yeah, I'll probably do four on these, maybe three. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to take all these now and we're going to glue them together so we have just one unit. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and paint them up, let them dry, decorate them. We're going to punch our holes. And then when we're all done doing that kind of stuff, then we're going to put them on a tray and we're going to cover, cover them with glossy accents. So they're going to be really neat. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, have fun.
All right, guys, so what I've done is that you saw me, I stuck them together, right? I let them sit overnight, which is no big deal. I had other things going on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to poke the hole in them. All right, just because I want that hole. Actually, you know what? Now I'm going to paint them first. So let's play around with some paint. Um, this is nothing crazy. This one, I actually think I'm going to leave him the way he is. I just think he's cute. So I'll end up putting a hole up here and then just use that as a dangle of some type. I still may paint around the sides and the back. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if you notice, I left all the backs of them cardboard. It's just the way I happen to do them, and that's the way I've always done them. So it's no big deal. If you don't like one side being cardboard, then just go ahead and paint it. It's not a problem. So let's go ahead and play with some paint. Then we'll come back. I'm going to put some holes in them once the paint is dry. Once that's all done, I get them decorated the way I wanted. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the um, glossy accents. So I'll try to make this as short as possible for you guys so that you're just not watching the whole thing. All right, I'll be back in a bit. guys so what I did is they're all painted um, sometimes I have to put one or two coats of paint on these I actually had to put two on because of the redness on the box now you can fix that if you just turn them um, over so that all you have is the cardboard now I have not done anything to the backs of these which is fine because these I actually intend to use in my journal and they're going to be glued down anyways. Um, some of them I'm going to be putting holes in so that I can use them like on the outsides of my journal. Like these. I think these are really cool the way they turned out. Um, and this one. But before I do anything with the holes, I am going to take my Sakura Jelly Pens. And I'm going to go ahead and either color in some things. Um, just make some things pop. Play around with them a little bit. And then I'm going to punch holes. Then they will be ready to go under um, the crystal ac or the glossy accents. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So here they are decorated. And again, I just did it with gel pens and the stamps that you saw. I had tiny stamps. So I'm just going to put my gel pens away because if I don't, I'll have a full desk here. All right. So now I have a tray here. Let me bring you out a little bit. And I got thinking about it. And I'm going to wait until after I put my glossy accents on to um, poke my holes because I really don't want them full of glossy accents. So what I'm going to do is just put all these out here on this tray. Now this is really shiny silver. I got it in like the dollar store. Um, and I'm just putting a little bit of wax paper on it. So if by chance anything does run off, um, you know, I'll be cool. It'll be cool. I might not have enough room on this tray, that's fine. I have other trays I can use, but this is just for this video to show you. Um, just throw another one in here. All right, now glossy accents is really easy to use. I know some people use it as a glue. 
I don't and I never have. So I don't know about that. But here's my glossy accents. Hopefully this one's been opened. So I don't have to mess around with that. And it has. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coat these. I'm going to coat them really well. I'm going to use the tip of the, um, the bottle to help it just kind of smooth it out. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to seal in all the decoration. Um, it's going to make it kind of shiny and just give it kind of that finished look. All right, now, right now I'm not actually squeezing any. I'm just moving what's here around. Whoops. My dog is underneath my desk digging, I think, the china. Not sure where she's going, but. Um, so, again, I'm just going to coat these pretty well with glossy accents. Leave them for about, I don't know, 24 hours is what I usually do. And um, then I'll come back and I'll punch some holes in them. And they'll be ready to play with. Isn't that cool? So, oops, let me bring it back down. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. Pocky stop. So, yeah, it's as simple as that. So, just by taking, you know, a cardboard cereal box, you can do this with anything. You could do it with um, scrapbook paper. You could do it with, I don't know, any, any kind of material as far as I know. Um, anything you can punch out and make multiples of. Now, this only has a couple, but that's okay. Pucky, stop. She she has this thing where anytime there's a shadow from the light or the light blinks, oh, it drives her crazy. So I have an obsessed puppy with the light. All right. Um, now I just noticed something. Now this is my boo-boo, and I'll actually show it to you so you don't do it on yours. All right. If you look right here, Oops, there's a bubble. If you look right here, you can see where the paint has kind of blurred a little bit, um, or the pen, and that's because I was messing around with it with the tip too close to the um, too close to the board. So I'm just gonna make sure that one's all the way around. Now let's say like this right here, I have a little corner that wasn't covered. It's okay. You can always go back later on and finish up adding more um, more glossy accents if you don't get it all complete. It's not going to hurt anything at all. So now she's over behind my stamp desk. She's crazy. I'm telling you, she's Bucky. Get out of there. Out. She's crazy today. I just found out she had one of my um, hand warmers and took off with that into my bedroom. She's a little stinker today. So yeah, you get the gist. I'm going to finish doing that to all of these. I'm going to let him, let them sit here overnight and dry. And then we'll come back and we'll punch holes in them and I'll show you how I've actually used a few of mine. Alright? So we'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I got the crystal, uh, I'm sorry, I keep calling this crystal accents and that's not what it is. It's glossy accents. I got that put on these, and as you can see, they're, well, maybe you can't see. They're shiny. There you go. Um, they're shiny. They're sturdier, which I think is great. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll poke a couple holes in them just to show you um, how they work. But what I want to do is I want to save these so as I'm working in my journals, working on projects, um, I will have you know things that I could use and I may not use it in the regular way so but anyways what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and poke a hole in the top with this little handy hole puncher here and let's hope that's the middle it is not <laughs> <laughs> the hole's right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But anyways, um, that's what I'm going to use these for. And just to show you, these are ones that I made quite a while ago uh, when I first started making these. And what I do is I use them on the edges of my journals. So um, here we go. I didn't do anything to the back of it, which is fine. Here's a small round one. Again, nothing to the back. Here's a square one. And this is how you can use these just little embellishments. And you know, if you need to uh, take it a little further, go ahead and stamp one of your images and um, cut it out. 
and you know do a bunch of cardboard the same shape behind it you can do a lot of things with these i really have fun creating them i have fun you know decorating them and i just i think they're really cute so there you go there's my muse for the month i hope um, you guys check it out and try it because it's a lot of fun and you just get a lot of little goodies to play with. Um, don't forget to check out all the other artists on my creative year and check out our muses. We're all always doing something different. So take care and don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about and happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.